In this series of tutorials, I've been looking at making a driving game that plays in a web browser. I'm going to improve what the game looks like. In this tutorial, I'm going to improve the materials. And in future tutorials, I'm going to add reflections and shadows. The starting point for this tutorial is the file developed in the previous tutorial. You can download the file from my website or you can watch the previous tutorials and make a similar file yourself. The first thing I'm going to do is add a texture image file to the Ruby material. I'm going to click Sync Viewer and Blender and Fast Preview so that we can see the difference as we make changes. Notice that in the browser the gemstones aren't transparent but back in Blender the material is transparent. Click Texture Properties, click the New Texture button. We want type image or movie, click both. Scroll down and click the Open Image button. Go to the folder where you have your texture image files and change the display mode to thumbnails. All the textures that I'm going to use are matte caps. Matte cap is short for a material captured. If you haven't used matte caps before, I recommend you watch my matte cap tutorial. The files matte cap 1, matte cap 2, 9, 11, 12 and the Chrome external matte cap all come with Blend for Web. You'll find them in the Blend for Web folder Deploy Assets Dev Matcaps. Matcap 2 is a shiny glass like material and I used it to make the glass red, green, and blue matcaps. In a graphics package, I increased the saturation to make the color stronger for the red glass and I altered the hue for the green glass and the blue glass. Select the red glass and click open image. With a matte cap texture all you have to do is change the mapping coordinates to normal Going back to the material properties, the diffuse color is now provided by the texture image file. There is a specular highlight, but the image file has a highlight, so I'm going to remove the specular highlight by setting the intensity to zero. To make the ruby shine brightly, I'm going to set the emit value to three. To make the transparency work, in a web browser, change the transparency type to Alpha Blend and click Fast Preview. We get transparent rubies with a more interesting material than the original. Next to do the same for the emerald. Select the emerald, set the specular intensity to zero, set emit to three and set the transparency type to Alpha Blend. Click Texture Properties, click the New Texture button, click both, set the mapping coordinates to Normal, scroll down and click Open Image. Go to the folder where you have the green glass matte cap, select it and Open Image. Selecting the car, it has two materials linked to it. I'm going to use the blue glass matte cap with the glass material. So I'm going to set the specular intensity to zero, but I'm not going to make the material transparent. Click Texture Properties, click New Texture, click Both, set Mapping Coordinates to Normal. Scroll down, click Open Image. Go to the folder where you have the blue glass matte cap, select it and open image. 
going back to material properties and selecting the car material, I am going to apply a matte cap to it, so set the specular intensity to zero. Click texture properties. The material has the default texture. Change the type to image or movie. Click both and change the mapping coordinates to normal. Scroll down and click open image. Go to the folder where you have your map caps. I took this gold texture and altered its hue to try and make a shiny red metallic map cap. Select it and open image. I'm not going to click fast preview. I want to see what the materials look like when playing the game. I've created a new blend for web project, My Driving Game 3, and I've copied over the code from My Driving Game 2. You can download the code from my website. Next, I'm going to overwrite the Blender file and use it to overwrite the JSON file. In the File menu, Save As, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Projects folder, the My Driving Game 3 Blender, click on the file and click Save As to overwrite it. To overwrite the JSON file, File, Export, Blend for Web JSON, click on the JSON file and export to overwrite it. Back in Project Manager, click the link for the HTML web page. The glass looks better, but the car doesn't look very shiny. I have used the same matte cap with this monkey, but I have increased the lighting and shiny effects work better with curved surfaces. I will talk more about lighting in the next tutorial where I look at shadows. That's the end of this tutorial. I'll put the files used in this tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.